Hello, my name is Ying. I'm here with five quick fashion tips that made my life easier and hopefully they will make your life easier as well. Let's jump right into tip number one, which is elastic belts. You ever out like shopping or thrifting and then you find the most perfect pair of wide-legged pants, but the only problem is the waist won't fit. Like the waist is just too loose because the rest of it is so baggy and loose and nice and that's how you like it. But the waist really needs to cinch or these pants are gonna fall off your body, right? I have a really quick and easy fix for you. I've been using this handy open center elastic belt thing for literally years now, and it has always made every single pair of pants where it is a little too loose at the waist for me fit perfectly. You just clip it to a belt loop, thread it through the rest of your belt loops, and then clip it onto the belt loop on the other side. And so you don't even need like a buckle in the middle. I don't know if anyone else finds it really annoying having a center buckle. I just really wanted a solution for cinching in the waist of my pants without having to sew something or like clip things on and off every time I take my pants off. It's just so annoying. And this is the simplest no sew easy Easy, reusable solution that I have found so far. So I'm very excited to share this with you all and I hope it changes your life the same way it changed mine. The belt does come with a little loop that you can use to wear it like a normal belt, but I personally don't use that at all. It can come in handy for things like shirt dresses, for example, where you need to cinch the waist, but I personally just like the fact that there is no loop in the center. I think that is the single biggest draw of this particular gadget. And I like that when you really, really, really need to pee, that's, you know, one less obstacle between you and your goal. <laughs> You know how it is. You can find this belt in different colors and the metal pieces on them, you can get them in silver or gold, which is really important because my next tip is about metallics and mixed metallics and how you can use mixed metallic accessories to really pull an outfit together more cohesively. So for example, you can see that the glasses I'm wearing are mostly gold in the metallic parts. There's some black on the main rims, but for the most part, the metal sheen that you can see is gold rather than silver. Because of that, I've paired earrings as well as a ring here that are both metallic gold in color rather than silver. Keeping your metallic tones matched as much as you can through the outfit is a small detail that can make a really big difference, but it's also kind of a headache. Like it's really annoying to have to pay attention to the color of your belt buckle or the zipper on your purse, right? These are the ways that metallic colors can sneak into your outfit without you even noticing. So I have a little hack using mixed metallics to pull everything together. No matter whether you have gold or silver sheened accessories or even bronze in many cases, it'll all work out if you just use some mixed metallic pieces. Most of my metallics are a simple silver or gold-ish kind of sheen, so most of my mixed metallic pieces like this necklace are a combination of those two colors. I also have a few pairs of earrings. You might notice that I really like circular shapes. <laughs> so I have quite a few circular shaped mixed metallic earrings that will help me always pull together the silvers and the golds that are mixed into my outfit. One of my favorites is this pair of studs that I found at an antique fair once that are made from old Italian lira coins. It's quite neat, people are so creative. My third tip is very simple. It's just to pay more attention to your glasses and be more intentional about what frames you wear with which outfits. I think a lot of people underestimate the huge amount of impact that your glasses frames can have on your overall aesthetic and vibe. In many cases, your glasses are probably the first thing people notice about you, however subconsciously that may be, because they're trying to make eye contact with you. So I'm of the opinion that anyone who's a glasses wearer would benefit from slowly building up a collection of frames that are of different styles and shapes and colors so that you can mix and match them to work for different outfits that have different vibes. I've personally been wearing glasses since I was literally 12 years old, so I've amassed quite the collection, but I would say that only my picks from recent years are really still relevant to my wardrobe. And fashions do evolve over time, so I'm always looking to try something new. So thank you Warby Parker for sponsoring this video and sending me five pairs of glasses frames to try. They have a home try-on service where you take this at-home quiz about your face shape and what styles and shapes you prefer in your frames, and then you choose five frames to try and they'll send them all to you totally free with a return label and everything. For those who don't know, Warby Parker is an eyewear and eye care brand. They offer products online and in stores, everything from eyeglasses to sunglasses to eye exams and contact lenses, and all their glasses start at $95, including the prescription lenses. I think trying glasses on is so fun, but it's also a little bit like anxiety inducing and stressful when you do it at the optometrist's office. So I love being able to do it in the comfort of my own home so I can take all the time I want in the world to vacillate over the decisions and also really go outside of my comfort zone and explore a little bit of different types of frames that I've never tried before. If you're curious and you wanna give this a try at home and have a bit of fun trying on some fresh frames as well, use my link below and you can get five pairs of glasses for free to try on at home, no obligation to purchase. It's just fun. I think the glasses are a really underrated accessory, I think the shape and style of your frames can say a lot about your personality, and so I really encourage you to experiment with it and have a bit of fun with it. 
Moving on now to tip number four, which is bootstraps. Have you ever been vibing, really feeling yourself in your outfit? And then you look down and you realize that uh, the cuffs of your pants have once again escaped the boots that you tucked them into. <laughs> it's a really frustrating feeling. I like for little details like this to take care of themselves, right? I don't wanna have to be thinking about adjusting the cuffs of my pants every time I sit or stand or whatever and they shift a little bit. Thankfully, bootstraps do solve this problem. I feel like they're like the foot version of the belt that I showed at the top of this video. <laughs> One simple elastic clippy solution for all of your pants cuff headaches. Small details like this can really make for a cleaner look and just a sleeker outfit overall. Plus it reduces headache from like moving parts. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. All right, it's time for a fifth and final tip before I let y'all go. I am not much of a dress wearer. However, I do wear a dress once in a while for a wedding or other special occasion. And when the time comes, inevitably, my dress will not have pockets on it. And it's the most annoying thing in the world. And I think it's a huge reason I don't wear dresses more often than I want to actually. My quick fix for this only really works for the shorter dresses. So kind of knee length and above, but I like to sneak a pair of tight running shorts underneath the type that's like skin tight and fits like it's spandex, but it has a little pocket pocket on the side that you can use to hold your phone or any other small objects. And since dress skirts are usually on the looser side, it will conceal, in my experience, most smaller objects that you might want to keep in your pockets anyway. So I usually will keep a phone or maybe a few cards and some cash. The only drawback of this is it does look kind of silly when you like lift your skirt hem up to get to your pockets. But honestly, <laughs> I will trade looking silly for a bit of convenience any day. And that's it. My five quick tips for common fashion headaches. I hope it was helpful. You will find links for all of the items I've mentioned in the description. And let me know in the comments if you have any little hacks and tricks that you would like to share that I can try out because knowledge sharing is caring, right? <laughs> all right, whether it is morning, afternoon, or evening, have a wonderful time of day and I will see you all next time.